Roti bakar is a type of street food served throughout Indonesia and Malaysia. The word roti in Hindi describes a specific type of flatbread, but in Southeast Asia it can mean any bread. White bread like this is usually called roti tawar. Bakar means burnt, so roti bakar literally means burnt bread or toast. In Malaysia, roti bakar often takes the form of kaya toast. Kaya is coconut jam, a type of custard often flavored with pandan leaf. It's an aromatic ingredient that gives foods a characteristic green color. It's served in toasted bread with cold slices of butter. According to the Indonesian shop owner I asked, the roti bakar they make at home consists of margarine, chocolate sprinkles, and Indonesians are very particular about their chocolate sprinkles, perhaps a legacy of Dutch colonialism, and cheese, craft cheese specifically. Street rotis are a different story, though. In these stands, anything goes, and they carry an array of ingredients that would do an ice cream shop proud. Various types of chocolate, Nutella, crushed Oreos, peanut butter, various nuts and fruits such as banana, and sweetened condensed milk will often be the finishing ingredient. Rather than sliced processed cheese, a finely shredded white cheese like mozzarella is used. In a roti bakar, some combination of these ingredients will be placed between two slices of bread before the sandwich is grilled. Traditionally, this would mean grilling over charcoal, but many stands these days will simply use a griddle. Some of the street stands make their toasts from miniature loaves of bread sliced horizontally, but that would be a little much for me. Instead, I'll make four different kinds and then serve them in the Malaysian manner, cut into bite-sized pieces, with two half-boiled eggs seasoned with soy sauce and white pepper. The whites of these eggs are nearly as runny as the yolks, so they don't peel very well, but they're excellent for dipping. Still, there's something satisfying about it, the crisp toast contrasting with the gooey melted fillings and the eggs, the sweet kaya or chocolate or Nutella or sweetened condensed milk contrasting with the savory cheese and egg, the peanut butter, the bread and butter or margarine. And despite it not being the excitingly spicy, sour, and salty fare we expect when we think of Southeast Asia, this is how many people there will start their day. Mm.